This is the first clinic we went to. I was just diagnosed October the 24th, and then we found out more November the 5th. Mm -hmm. And we did some research on the internet, and we did a lot of praying. And as soon as I saw this, I knew that I knew that this was what we were looking for. The Just the approach of the nutritional and everything more natural to just allow my body to help heal itself was what attracted us to us. And then I uh, got to visit with him a little bit and just knew that this was a place for us to come. So we loaded up and got here a week ago. And uh, what diagnosis did you have, if you don't mind? Uh, it was primary lung cancer, but it had metastasized to my lungs and my bones and my lymph nodes. Okay, and this was the diagnosis was made? Uh, October the 24th. That's when we knew it, it was in my liver, and then November the 5th, they had done some other PET scans, CAT scans, and some biopsies and found out it had metastasized. Kind of radiation? No, we chose not to have any type of conventional treatment. At that point it was already stage four and so we chose not to have any conventional. I had been through that with my mom and my grandmas and my brother and my aunts and just didn't feel like that was right for me. I'd pretty much chosen that a couple of years ago when I went through it with other family members that if I ever got cancer of an internal organ, I probably would not choose to do conventional treatment. So that was pretty much out of the question for me. Do you mind if I ask you, do you, was there anyone else in your family that had the same diagnosis within the past five or ten years? Yes. Um, well, actually, my mother was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, but it had metastasized to the liver. And that was, she passed away nine years ago. And um, I've had a grandma and a couple of aunts that had bone cancer as well. But that's been, that's been over 10 years. They started the treatments in June of uh, 2001 and she passed away January the 8th of 2002. So about eight months. My first symptoms were, I believe, fever and chills. And that would pass. And I began to have some pain, mainly in my right shoulder. But I kind of put that off to, um, I'm a horse trainer and I'd had some horse riding accidents and I'd had some back injuries, so I thought it was that. And uh, later I began to have pain down both legs and in my back and I still put that off to just my occupation. And later um, I became pretty nauseous and a lot of pain up high in my upper abdomen, but it would pass after three or four hours, so I didn't tie it all together. And then eventually I got where I was nauseous almost every time I had eaten. And when it got like that and I couldn't eat, then that's when we went in. And they originally thought it was my gallbladder, but once they ran the ultrasound, they decided that they had seen some lesions on my liver. They stabilized my weight. I was having almost two pounds a day weight loss when I got here. And really, I was eating, but I just wasn't able to maintain my weight. And once I got here, my weight was stabilized. And I've actually gained probably eight pounds since I've gotten here and then I feel just a lot more energetic and a lot less pain already since I've been here. I've had a few episodes of pain but not like I was having before I came. It has diminished uh, a lot. I had one episode with my upper abdomen and I've had a couple minor ones with my back and my shoulder but they're not as severe as they were when I was before I got to the clinic. I like the treatment plan and I like how the people treat you and how accessible the doctors are and I can tell that they're out for your health and well-being and it's not all about money and I like the cleanliness that was a big thing to me um, the nutritional program everything about it I really have no complaints the doctors are checking you all the time they're very concerned and uh, keep a really good eye on you the nursing staff is great so I, I have nothing bad to say about this clinic all good I'll be here for two more weeks. My protocol was going to be a three week long therapy, so I've got two weeks left to go. I think it's great to have this, got so many people here, support network. Could you just make that? That's huge. Um, I probably wouldn't have, I would not have even come down here if it wouldn't have been for my husband and my kids and my in laws. I've just had so much support. My church family back home, more people praying across the whole world than you can imagine. And that's really been the catalyst for me even choosing to come here and then doing so well while I was down here. When we first started this, um, God gave me a verse in the Bible that says, I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound judgment. So I knew not to make a decision based on fear. And since you've been here, have you been sleeping better? I've been sleeping much better. And I think that was because um, 
the lack of pain and also just I just feel better once I stopped losing weight I just have more energy and I just am able to sleep better and then a peace of mind for my family it was hard on my family trying to learn how to take care of me and so once we got here I felt like it took a lot of stress off my husband and my son so it gave all of us a peace of mind when we got here to take that off their shoulders and put me into the doctor's hands. How about your appetite? Appetite is good. Eat like a horse. <laughs> yes, my appetite is good. And how do you like the food here? I like the food. It's excellent. There's been a couple of dishes that didn't quite agree with my digestive system, but outside of that, they just prepare it. It looks so pleasing to the eye and it is so tasty. They have a great, great cook and chef here. I would definitely recommend this for anybody with, with um, cancer or I believe they even treat um, diabetes and any autoimmune disease and I would definitely recommend this treatment center. I'm determined to, to beat this. I, I truly believe between God's help and this clinic, I believe that uh, I believe I'm going to beat it.